Yeah. Okay. Who, who, who are you? Hello. Um, my name is Joyce Long. And uh, I'm a comedian. And you just come off stage. Uh, <laughs> can you give, give us a few highlights of what you were just doing? Um, I was telling the joke. I was telling the same Christmas cracker joke, but for lots of different people. What do you go see? Excellent. But I'm not going to show anymore. Nah. They'll have to come see you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. Fabulous. And can you tell us a bit about what you're wearing as well? Um, I got this in Muji. Uh, it's, I, I'm wearing it basically because it's like a shroud, because my thing is about ghosts. Yeah. So I thought it would be funny. And also because it's so bloody cold. Um, but I do quite like it because it's so ridiculous. A piece it of is. Clothing. And you've done an actually pretty excellent marketing job for Muji because I am interested in really? going to Muji and buying one. I tell you, it's very comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> and you're looking quite like the Virgin Mary just right at this point in time. <laughs> That's the look I was going for. Obviously, the look you were going for. Um, so, how come you're in this lineup with this bunch of very noisy people? Um, I've, I've known Robin for a, a while and um, we've done a lot of shows. I, I, he, he's always letting me come in on his shows. I think we have quite um, similar, like, exciting, like, sight. I, I think we're quite similar in temperament, so I think really clunky and I'm actually really nice. But apart from that, um, like, you guys sort of... Oh, what am I trying to say? I think he's just my friend and he gets me in, in the things and we yeah. both like finding things out and like breaking in. But he's a lot more uh, literate than me. <laughs> and then, out of uh, everyone here at the evening, some of these guys, um, who are you sort of excited to be on the bill with? No one. They're all pricks. <laughs> um, Alan Moore, really. And, yeah. and um, quite everyone, like Richard Herrick's doing it. Yeah. And then there's people um, like Ben Goldacre and Simon Singh, who we did the God, uh, the gift, gift of Children to Learn. Yeah. Who, you know, it's quite crushing, really, because everyone is so intelligent and articulate and brilliant and doing things that are very worthwhile and important. And then you've got me and I'm like... <laughs> I, do you know what I found today? Was, uh, I did something today that I was really proud of, and then afterwards I was like, you should not have been proud of that. That was not appropriate. What was it? I don't know. Oh, I worked out that legally blonde is a pun on legally blind. And I was like, oh, I get it, I get it. She's just I did not know that. I actually didn't realise either. So, how thick am I? Normally, not thick. Wow, so you are quite clever. <laughs> Yeah, I just something else to do that I'm Oh, it's a um, is, is this kind of gig quite, quite different to what you normally do or and how? I don't know. I've done quite a lot of these. I did them all last year and I've done Robin's Book Club. I did that quite regularly, about once a month for about three years. And um, I did, I've just done the tour for the Gift of Children, so I'm quite used to it all now. Yeah. Um, but I don't know. I, I do a lot of sort of festival stuff where I'm on my own, so it's really great to be around lots of people that you really admire. Yeah, from chatting away and they talk about really good things and like getting to talk to talk to Chris Addison and um, Ben Goldacre about um, the Daily Mail. It's always fun. Yeah, <laughs> and they're both big fans. Obviously, yeah. huh? exactly. They've got a copy under their arm. Do you? Um, why do you think events like these are important? If I can ask you a slightly serious question. Um, I think because they give people, they bring people together who don't have other things necessarily that might bring them together in this way. Like, it, it's about kind of um, showing the positive side to humanism and to atheism and showing that there's... Um, because they'll have a nice fun celebration and, the, and also I think they're important because you get people saying really really interesting and intelligent things and that's you know you don't get that at a weekend comedy club in Leicester Square I'll tell you that for free um, you, you know you get so yeah it's unusual in terms of the people who are and it's unusual in terms of the atmosphere it creates I think that's really great yeah. brilliant thank you so much thanks for having me